Support. The Maestro, please! Only have a month of summer left, so hopefully we can get some new summer albums before we end the season. This will be for the week of August 22nd. 2020. On this day in music back in 1961, Please Mr. Postman by the Marvelettes was released. It would be their first number one and the first of 57 number ones released on the Motown label. Oddly enough, after that Max Richter album last week, it didn't stay at number one, but the previous one we went over, Sleep, got back to number one. Don't mean a thing if it ain't that swing. The top five on the jazz album charts has remained the same for a while, being in reverse order Louis Armstrong, Michael Bublé, Miles Davis, Nora Jones, and Frank Sinatra. Singing, I love rock and roll. This is going to be quite the nostalgia trip for all you millennials, considering the album aesthetically and lyrically is rooted in the 1990s and early 2000s and references a lot of the hip-hop and R&B from that time. References include Pokemon, Pepsi Blue, Capri Sun, Dunkaroo, Michael Jordan, Dr. Dre, Air Force Ones, The Price is Right, Scooby-Doo, Friends, and essentially anything else you can think of from that time period. Quick honorary mention to NLE Choppa's album Top Shotta, charted at number six. Hopefully it pops up just one more place and we'll talk about it next week. This love's a hard debut studio album of the collaborative group Bronson, formed between Odessa and Golden Features. They very much liked each other's music and wanted to push themselves creatively, so this is going to sound a bit different than what you would normally associate with either artist. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! Born here, live here, die here From the roots to the boots to the lady down suit the seventh studio album from Luke Bryan following up his 2017 What Makes You Country, and it's a very good follow-up album too, because this album is extremely country. Pray for Love popping back up into the top five because of the deluxe edition that was released earlier this month. It adds 11 new tracks and a remix of Rags to Riches, aptly called Rags to Riches 2, which adds Little Baby to the mix. <laughs> Fun fact about the Papa Smoke discography, the song Dior, his best-selling song, It's Gone Platinum, despite the fact that it only got to number 22 on the Hot 100, has been included on every single release that Pop Smoke has made. Meet the Woo, Meet the Woo 2, and Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon. I like Gucci suit, I'm feeling righteous. Yeah, I know that the truth is hard to digest. Yeah. Still awaiting that supposed deluxe edition that Juice World manager, Lil Bibby, hinted at on Twitter back in early July. For those of you that wanted that additional track on the physical edition of the album, The Lakes, you can now get it digitally as Taylor Swift has released a public playlist titled Folklore, The Escapism Chapter, which is a six track playlist that includes songs from the album, but most importantly, it includes The Lakes. Only three new albums, but there should be at least a couple of things to keep you busy until the next playlist is published. And if not, just listen to Taylor Swift's Folklore again. And now I need some help out of my stove, please. My stove. My stop, my stop, my stop, my stop, please, my stop, please.